was ducking so you could get a full view. Ooh. Cheers, man. Good morning. We are tired, but here we are. Yesterday I didn't really film a lot and I we saw Happily Ever After and I just wanted to enjoy it. You can watch videos of it on YouTube, so go watch that if you want. Then we did a few rides and went home because we knew we had to get up early today for our pre-park opening breakfast reservation at Tusker House at Animal Kingdom for Megu's birthday. So now we're in Animal Kingdom and we're gonna go eat food. Like a lot of it. Like so much. I didn't know Pooh Bear is gonna be there too because I got a rumbly in my tongue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pooh Bear, we need a Pooh Bear. Do -do -do -do. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. So. What? Let's just fill our pockets with waffles and go yeah. straight to Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it works like that. What? Yeah, Kitty has a backpack. <laughs> Put everything in there. It's been a long time. I was like seven last time I was here. <laughs> Thank you. Like two decades. Yeah, it was just a casual 20 years. Right. <laughs> Enjoy your breath, bye. Thank you. Okay, so we ran out of space on the SD card, so we're on phone version now, but oh my god, so much food. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, I love your safari outfit. She looks so cute. Here, I'm just going to start passing the phone down. That is so good. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. Thanks, Donald. I'll miss you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yes. we're, we're together. They're married and we're engaged. <laughs> Come on, Donald. <laughs> Bleeding them dry. <laughs> Aw, Donald, I'll miss you. Mwah. Till next time. He's always the best. I love him so much. Yay, thank you. Happy birthday to you. right in front of us crossing the road she is called a greater kudu uh, you can tell it's a female because she doesn't have any horns most antelope species males and females like grow horns but there are a few exceptions now the antelope that she just walked over to that is called a bongo that's a little bit shorter than her now bongos males and females like grow horns but uh, they have spirally horns for both so species for both sexes and they grow backwards to help make sure they don't get tangled up into the vegetation that they live in they actually get the nickname ghosts of forest because how rarely seen there if you look past them, that big animal that's walking up the hill back there that has some zebra-like stripes on its legs, those are called okapis. Uh, they actually are not related to zebra whatsoever. That's just their camouflage. But they're actually the only known relative to the giraffe. If you notice, it had the same body figure as the giraffe, it's just not as tall. Another bongo here really close to us on the right. Looks like there's more bongos in greater kudu up ahead. Seems like they're migrating this way. Slowly but surely. Now also, up this hill that's straight ahead of us actually, there's a big bird up there. It's called a saddle-billed stork. Fully grown, they can get up to around six feet tall. They actually get their name from the yellow part of the top of their beak looking like there's a saddle kind of thrown over them. Ooh, and actually look to your left up the hill there. Not the best view, but it is a view of the backside of a rhino. <laughs> and actually there's another one over here a bit closer. Let's see if you can get a better view. Now these are actually black rhinoceros. This is actually kind of an uncommon sight because they are fairly solitary animals. They don't poop up too often. So to your left, there's the other one there, right next to the rocky wall, nibbling away. But you can tell if you ever get a good look at their mouth. The black rhinoceros has a narrow jawline with a triangular-shaped upper lip. These are the two key physical characteristics that they have. 
Their upper lip is prehensile, and if you don't know what that word means, by the way, it means finger-like, so they use their upper lip like we use our fingers to grab and hold on to things. So now this one's pretty close to us on our left. Gorgeous animals, not gonna lie, if I could take one of these guys home, I would. One of my favorite antelope species. Groups of hippos are called a bloat, and no, it's not because they float. But they're actually one of the larger, more dangerous animals in Africa, and yes, I said dangerous. It's because they're extremely territorial. So whenever they show off their pearly whites looking like they're happy to see you, they're actually not. It's a threat display. They want you out of their territory. If this intimidation doesn't work, they will charge after you. Hippos are actually known to kill more humans than most other animals in Africa. Painted dogs, correct. The painted dog, also known as the African wild dog. There's a few of them over there, actually. They're actually one of the most successful hunters in Africa. 90% of their hunts are successful. Now, they are related to the domesticated dog. However, they're definitely not as nice. And they don't bark. They're actually more like a squeaky, chirpy kind of noise instead, like a squeaker toy. Over here, too, on our left. Aww. Now, when a giraffe is born, they can stand around six feet tall. Look, the springbok are springing. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when they said they spring. Yeah, it's a little giraffe when they're born. They can stand around six feet tall. Right off the bat, like their horns lay flat and they had to make birthing I'm easier. Springing up there Basically, when they're born, they get to wander around some fuzzy pom-poms on top of their head for a little while. Giraffes only need around 30 minutes of sleep a day. That's it. Imagine that's all you needed. How much you get done in a day. But unfortunately for us, well, that's called insomnia. Now, <laughs> these giraffes don't even take that 30 minutes at one time either. They'll take a couple minute naps here and there throughout the entirety of the day. Talk about your power napping. No spring buck are still springing. They're so cute. Oh my god. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cute. It's like a kangaroo. I like it. I've never seen anything like that. Me neither. That's this funny. is. Uh oh. So, far right up the hill there, there are some wildebeest. Well, she just kind of like stares into our soul. <laughs> Oh my God. So if, you actually, if you're able to see her, if you notice her ears, a lot of animals out here in Africa use their ears and just kind of like rotate them around. To, it's how you can kind of get an idea where they're paying attention because uh, they're listening to the environment around them. And I think what really has her attention is not really us, but the springbok. She gets normally in the mornings, they're not that active. So I don't know what's going on with them. <laughs> oh, oh she's, she is on the run. Wow. I love watching giraffes run because they look like they're running in slow mo because of how awkwardly they run. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh, she's doing it again. Uh, nope, she's on the run to the right. Oh there she God. goes. Wow. She is gorgeous. Oh, I'm going to cry. I know. Giraffes are my favorite animal. Oh. And if you ever see an elephant flapping their ears, they're trying to cool themselves off. They can actually drop their body temperature down around 15 degrees by doing so. And that elephant's not the only animal over here on our left. On the top of the rocks there, the monkey. looks like there's two monkeys up on the top. And then there's another one that's kind of at the bottom of the trees over here. These are actually called mandrels. They're the largest monkeys in Africa. And a couple more elephants. Is that a baby? Oh my god, it's looks a baby. Like one's at the, a water hole. And if you actually notice, this is a herd. Because look at that baobab tree off to our left and look at the bottom of it. There's a little elephant over there. Let's see if we can get closer. There's a little elephant. If you notice his tusks, are barely grown in. <laughs> so I guess you could say a little elephant is tusking. You know, like teething, like tusking. <laughs> well, they're not the only animals up here enjoying the water hole. That's pretty cool. Take a couple extra ones for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Twinday, let's see what else we can find. Behind it, look what's right next to that log. <gasps> cheetah! There's a cheetah. Actually, there's two of them, yeah. Fastest land animals in the world. Let's see if we can get around, oh. get a better view, maybe. Oh, there's one. So three cheetahs. We're gonna stop right here, because that looks like it's a pretty good view. Able to accelerate up to 60 miles an hour in just three seconds, and that's not even their top speed. They can't turn 75 miles an hour. They're one of the few large cats that hunt during the day. Now, even though I say they're a large cat, they're actually not classified as large cats. Anyone know why? Nope. No guesses? They can't roar. Oh. They don't have that powerful vocal cord. So because of that is why they're classified as a small cat. They actually have more of a voice like a kitten. Aww. No way. Oh my god. Lioness I'm gonna cry. as well. But it looks like he's uh, starting to go away. Oh, there's two lioness up there. 
Let's get around and get it, see if we can get a view straight in front of them. Hi, baby. I think we walked the one closest to us because <laughs> her eyes were closed just a second ago. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, babies. Now, if you were not aware, Mufasa is actually a Swahili word for king. There he is, wandering around. But as you can tell with the ladies there, big lazy cats for the most part. And like your average house cat, they like to rest around 16 to 20 hours of the day. They're mostly active by night too, because at night their eyesight is around six times better than that of a human. Ooh, listen, look at him. But you guys did hear that though, right? He did it again. Yeah, so they don't actually go roar. They have more like a ooh. Right ahead of us, the mud rolling culprits. And off to our left, there's some monsters too. The mud rolling oh culprits, or yeah, definitely rhinos. And these are the white rhinoceros. They get their name from the Afrikaans word oh, white, yeah. which means wide, because they have a wide, broad mouth. And because white sounds like white, there's a translation issue, which is why they just decided to call them the white rhino. One of my favorite animals out here in the reserve. They're just so social and I love rhinos. So being able to see white rhinos, more than likely you always get to see multiple of them. Expedition Everest. Da, 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 da. Boom. My ass. <laughs> as I need to buy a new memory card after this. We had the best safari ever this morning after breakfast. It was the coolest. And now, oh, and then we went on Expedition Everest with our Fast Passes. And then we did Stand By for Dinosaur one more time. And now our Fast Pass comes up in like three minutes for Flight of Passage. So we just chilling in Pandora. Waiting for that to come up. Ride a banshee. Ride a banshee. It's awesome. An ikra. Ikra. Oh, it's so hot. That's Hopefully next time you see me, I will have a memory card. Nice. There's so many of them. Oh my gosh. to buy an SD card. They are not really available in the parks anymore. They're too outdated. Too many people have cameras that just send your photos straight to your phone now. So, we're phone vlogging the rest of the trip. See how that goes. I've never really done that before. I think if it works out well, maybe I'll just switch to it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, their buses weren't coming to Epcot, so we took one to Hollywood Studios from our resort after our quick nap, freshen up and rally, and now we're going to try out the Skyliner. Take it over to uh, Epcot from the studios. I'm excited. Ooh. 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 Right, let's go. This, these remind me of the. Um, it's, like it's, it's like a ride. <laughs> the the ride on or the, 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 the what's it called? Fairy no. The fer wow. Ferris wheel at um, DCA. This is so yeah. cool. They're kind of the same vehicle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is fun. welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean. <laughs> With connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, 
and Disney's Art of Animation this Resort. Is cool. Thank you for flying with us. Por favor, permanezcan sentados hasta que las puertas se abran automáticamente. Al salir de la cabina, por favor, cuide a sus pequeñitos, reúna sus pertenencias y observe sus pasos. Gracias por volar con nosotros. Backlighting. You can't see anything. That's better. <laughs> Safe to say we're having fun. <laughs> Started in Mexico with empanadas and largs. Then we have beers in Norway. And now we're having some mixed beverages in China. Megan and I have a tequila drink, which is very authentic for China. Very authentic. And then the boys have some sort of peach vodka concoction. Peach snacks. This is pretty good, but I don't know. I think I'm feeling ours a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty. So pretty. I'm so excited. I feel like it's such a pretty language. Absolutely. To the top. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. 